that your, your purpose is pure and that you actually are contributing something positive to society, I think at that point, it's about understanding what is what is your economic driver? So what, like, what kind of product do you have? I'm a counselor, so my product is people. Yep, your product, and, 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 and you are the product, essentially, and you're offering a service to people, right? So at that point, marketing is everything. And you gotta look at the industry you're in and understand who's doing things well in that industry and identify them and say, what can I take from what they're doing well and emulate in my own way, though, you know? So you don't want to be a microcosm of something that already exists because who wants Tupac Jr., you know what I mean? Nobody. Man. We want real Tupac, you feel me? Right. So understanding that, and I think that, uh, understanding that you're, you're not really running a real business unless it's hard in the beginning. Some people are looking for overnight success for them. And we see people go viral online and it creates this false reality that we can just go viral and all of our problems are, are done away with instantly. And I wish that more people knew the reality that uh, when you see someone successful, that probably took them about 10 years of grind behind the scenes to achieve that success. So that would be my advice to you is understanding what you do well like literally, there's certain things that you do well, and, and that's that's like a core competency. You know what I mean? That's that's a business advantage that you have over everybody else because God naturally gave you that gift to do that well. Once you identify what that is, stick to doing a lot of that, you know, and you sprinkle the rest of your business with other things that you just have to learn to do, you know. But that thing that you do really, really, really well, that's gonna be the thing that people can't get enough of. You feel know? me? We just me and Bizzle, oh shout out to Mighty Gra on. Madison, y'all. If y'all ever ate at that restaurant, it's, it's out here. These people were closed, and they just hooked me and Bizzle up, and we had the best food that we have had in a long time. Yo, she knows, she knows, she knows what she does well. She's from New Orleans, so she knows she cooks that New Orleans cuisine real, real, real well. So she come all the way up to Cincinnati, and she didn't try to open a Cincinnati restaurant. She didn't try to open up, you know, a uh, Chinese food store. She said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell all this food out here. And there's a demand for it, you know what I mean? So that's what I would say. Yeah.